Hey guys, I wanted to make this video to show you how to install the exposed framework and modules on your Android device. Now I want to start the video off by actually explaining what the exposed framework is, what it does and how it's useful to you. Now to actually explain what it does is kind of complicated, but basically it's going to use root on your Android device to allow you to make changes on the system level. Now, if you didn't understand that, I don't blame you. What it's gonna really allow you to do is get custom ROM-like features, for example, Halo, Pi, status bar tweaks, nav bar tweaks, battery percentage, all that sort of stuff without installing or flashing a custom ROM. So you can do this on a stock ROM. In terms of device support, it should work for a number of devices, works for all the Nexus devices, the HTC One, the Galaxy S4, and loads of other different devices. Although it should be mentioned, some modules only work on specific devices and sometimes only specific Android versions. So one thing you will need is a rooted device. I've got my Nexus 5 here rooted, but I've made no other modifications to the ROM. This is a stock 4.4.2 ROM. Nothing else has changed. It's just rooted. So one thing that's great about using the exposed framework is you don't have to do any flashing. You're not going to have to reinstall your apps. They're all going to stay there and you still get the stability of using the stock Google ROM. You don't have any instability that sometimes comes with custom ROMs, and that's pretty excellent. Another great thing is it's completely reversible. All you have to do is uninstall it, and everything goes back to normal. It's actually really, really easy to do. I had this fully modified a little bit earlier, but I uninstalled it all to make this tutorial, and it went back easily. I didn't have to install any of the apps. Everything stayed as it should do. So yeah, let's go ahead and install the exposed framework. So before we install this, please, please, please make a backup. It's just common sense. I'm not saying something will go wrong, but something might go wrong, you never know, and you might get into a boot loop. It's much easier to press the restore button than having to flash the factory image and reinstalling all your apps. It's only gonna take you a few minutes and it's gonna save you a lot of hassle if something does go wrong. Okay, so you've made your backup and you're ready to install the exposed framework. Now, as always, all the links are included in my description and the first one you're gonna need is the link to the installer APK. Now, I've already downloaded it, but you can see it here. This is what it's gonna look like. And you just install this like you would any other app that you're not installing from the Google Play Store. So hit install here. Make sure you have unknown sources ticked in the settings if, you, uh, if it doesn't allow you to install it. Hit open, and this is what you get. You've got framework, modules, download, settings, logs, and about. Well, we wanna install the framework, so let's click into framework. And you can see I've got nothing active because it isn't installed. I told you I uninstalled it all. You've got install, update, uninstall, soft reboot, and reboot. So we'll hit install. This is when it's gonna grant you, uh, or gonna ask you for root permissions. You need to grant it root permissions. And there you go, done. Changes will become active on reboot. So let's hit reboot. I'm not gonna skip the reboot here, but I will fast forward it so you can see that we don't boot loop or it's not gonna boot loop. Okay, so we booted up successfully. Let's dive back into the installer and see what it says. Dive back into framework. And yeah, you can see it's now active 47 and 42. So the framework has been installed. Now we move on to the modules. Now, where do you get the modules from? Well, you can either get them from the websites and different websites. You can get them from the Google Play Store or you can actually get them from within this app. And you can see it here, modules. That actually shows you the modules you have installed. If you wanna download modules, you click downloads and this is where they are. So you can see I've installed the exposed installer. That's what we just did. And these are all the different modules that are available here. And you can see there's loads of different ones, loads of different things, loads of different modifications you can make, CPU temperature in the status bar. So I'm gonna install Gravity Box because that's one of the best ones I've come across. So you just scroll down. You can see there's two versions, one's for Jelly Bean, one's for KitKat. You pick the appropriate version. I'm on the Nexus 5 with KitKat. So we'll click that. And you can see you've got all the information here, the main features, the compatibility, the support. You can see the different versions and you can see the change log. So hit download, you can see it starts downloading. And then it installs like another app, at least this one does. They don't all. And you can press next, install. And you're done. You can see it comes up with exposed module is not activated yet. So what you wanna do here is go back, go back again and go into modules. You wanna activate it and you can see it will become active on reboot. So you need to go back into framework now and hit up a soft reboot. So that's pretty much something you're gonna need to do after you install every module. You will need to do a soft reboot for it to become activated. So a soft reboot has been done. Uh, we'll dive back into the installer, go back into modules, click into gravity box, and we're ready to go. You can see it's all working, it's all, uh, 
it's all here. So let me actually just show you one of these to show you it is working. So we'll dive into, I don't know, status bar tweaks. Um, what shall we change here? I don't know, battery percent text. You can see, you can click that. Now we have the battery percentage. You can even have a data traffic monitor. You can see that in the middle and it'll monitor your traffic coming in and out of the, uh, in, in and out of your network. So it works there. I'm going to be doing a much more detailed view on Gravity Box in one of my upcoming videos, but that's how you install the exposed framework and how you install the modules. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it guys. Peace out.